So we'll start in Fort Worth. The school district there confirming now two of their staff members have passed away this week, and they say it's because of COVID-19. The deaths were confirmed in last night's school board workshop meeting. Our Nicole Nielsen now gets us underway. All new at 6. It's a question that's hard to ask. Have we experienced any deaths due to COVID with our faculty, staff, or students? We have, in fact. In fact, we had a couple other uh, faculty or related faculty this week, two additional deceased, yes. In an answer that's hard to hear, two faculty deaths for Fort Worth ISD just this week. The district didn't confirm if these two deaths are the only ones they've had this year. It's also unknown if the staff members caught the virus on campus or had underlying health conditions. But we do know the district is mourning. According to a Facebook post from Southwest High School, Richard Zarza, an engineering and robotics teacher, reportedly passed away from COVID-19 on Monday. Their principal said Richard was an amazing educator. His passion for student success was evident in every part of our engineering program. His legacy will live on through the numerous lives he impacted. The name or school of the other death has not yet been confirmed by the district. It's devastating. Uh, anytime anyone loses their life due to, to a disease that uh, could be prevented by social distancing, wearing a mask, uh, vaccines, uh, it, it is absolutely devastating. Since the start of the year, Fort Worth ISD has had 476 positive employee cases and no consistent mask mandate. Stephen Poole with the United Educators Association says it's a frightening reality all teachers face. Every time they walk into a classroom, they're putting their health on the line. He says they're receiving more calls than usual this year of teachers inquiring about ending their contracts, many of whom are scared of getting COVID themselves. I, I can see the teacher turnover rates uh, increasing not only in Fort Worth, but other districts and across the state. Uh, but this is something that uh, definitely we're going to have to uh, live with the long-term effects. In Fort Worth, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News.